Okay, so uh, Happy New Year, right? We'll be looking at a new topic, respiration. Right, so for the A-level syllabus for respiration, we are focused on cellular respiration, how the cells break down the food or organic molecules right, to produce energy. Right? So we are now looking at respiration in terms of respiratory system, how to breathe in air and all that. Yeah, all those we have learned in secondary school, right? So cellular respiration. Okay, so before we look at the processes of uh, cellular respiration, we will, as a background, look at what is energy, which is what the process of respiration produces. Okay, so energy is uh, defined as the capacity to do work, and in the cellular level, that means uh, what, where the various cell functions, right? whether it is cell, mov cell movement, uh, synthesis of proteins, and so on. Okay? The ultimate source of energy on Earth is the sun because uh, the sunlight carries light energy which is captured by the autotrophs which are a group of organisms that are able to uh, capture the light energy for photosynthesis. Alright, so during photosynthesis, right, uh, the light energy from the sun is captured to make organic molecules, food molecules, right? So for us, who are heterotrophs, we will eat all these food molecules or organic molecules and break down the organic molecules to uh, uh, to produce energy. So basically, it's a conversion of uh, the different forms of energy from the light energy to chemical energy in the food and then to chemical energy in the form of ATP, right, via respiration for us as heterotrophs. Okay, so uh, just a bit more background info lah, or in terms of the autotrophs, right? So for the autotrophs that are able to undergo photosynthesis, they are classified as photoautotrophs. There's another type of autotroph that does not undergo photosynthesis. They make organic molecules via some kind of chemical reaction, right? So those are called chemoautotrophs, but uh, those are very few. La, huh? The main group of autotroph would be the photoautotroph that undergo photosynthesis, all right? <coughs> okay, so um, as mentioned, respiration really is uh, to convert the chemical energy stored in the food substances or the food organic molecules into chemical energy in the form of ATP. Right, so the process is actually a sequence of enzymatic reaction and uh, these enzymatic reactions involve breaking down, also involve oxidation. Okay, so it's a sequence of oxidation and enzymatic reaction. And that would be respiration. Right, two types of respiration processes. We have aerobic respiration that requires oxygen as well as the anaerobic respiration that does not require oxygen. Okay, so uh, in terms of the actual details of the process, we will look at them a bit later. Okay, next up, also for background, since uh, respiration produces energy in the form of ATP, right, then we need to know, we need to know what is ATP. La. So ATP is uh, adenosine triphosphate. It's actually a RNA nucleotide, right? You have the ribose, you have the adenine nitrogenous base, and uh, triphosphate, right? So three phosphate groups. Okay, it is uh, described as a universal energy carrier because uh, most reactions in the cell that requires energy would make use of ATP and uh, most organisms will also make use of ATP. Right? So ATP is uh, used as the form of energy in most organisms for most reactions. Right? So uh, that's why it's known as the universal energy carrier. Okay. So some properties of ATP and how that allows it to be uh, serving as a 
good form of uh, energy carrier. Uh, one is because it is small, right? It is also polar, as you can see, because of all the OH in the ribose, as well as the negatively charged phosphate, and that makes it soluble in the cytoplasm. Right, so it is small and soluble that allows it to diffuse uh, throughout the cell or throughout the cytoplasm right, to wherever energy is needed in the cell. And also, right, uh, the phosphate groups can actually be added or removed and that would correspond to the storage or release of energy. All right. Okay, so uh, for the number of phosphate groups right the least number la, oh, is uh, one phosphate group that's when it is a uh, AMP right? adenosine monophosphate this is when uh, the molecule has the least amount of energy it's like your phone battery that is flat okay then you have the ADP which has uh, a bit more energy right but it is still pretty low Right, or when if we see or if we see ADP, right, we know that energy has been used. Right, it is uh, still rather low energy. This is when like your your phone battery is kind of like 30, 40 percent, right? Is it still have some energy, but it's kind of low. You want to charge, oh, so that's ADP, right? And then the ATP is when your phone battery is fully charged. Okay, this is when it is like uh, of the highest energy content. Okay. Right. So the addition, right, and removal of uh, phosphate group correspond to the storage or release of energy, right? So in the cell, what happened is uh, there is a constant cycling of ATP and ADP, right? So when the cell is undergoing respiration and obtaining the energy from the food substances or organic molecules, the energy is used to make ATP. Making ATP uh, basically is to add a phosphate group to ADP. Right, so the whatever energy that is uh, captured from the food is used to drive this reaction so that you form this high energy molecule, ATP. Right, just uh, and this process, this reaction is a conversation reaction now. Huh? And when the cell wants to do work, which requires energy, then it uh, uses the ATP. When we say uses ATP, basically it means to remove one phosphate group, which would release energy right for the uh, cell function to occur. Okay. So it's kind of like in your phone battery law. Oh, this is where it is fully charged. Then you play games, use up some of the energy, then it become 30-40%. And then you charge it so that it becomes 100 percent again. Yeah. So it's this cycle of uh, charging, using, charging, using. Right. So when it is charged, it's ATP. When it is used, energy is used, is ADP. Right. So in the cell, there's always this cycle of ATP and ADP, right, which f acts as a link between respiration producing energy and also uh, the cell using the energy to do work. Right, so this energy is uh, uh, transferred in the form of ATP, ADP. All right, all right. That's the intro for respiration.